Hello, I'm Dan, a Senior Technical Account Manager here at the AWS office in Denver. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure cores in Amazon's Simple Storage Service and then confirm the cores rule using curl. Let's get started. You can apply cross-origin resource sharing or cores rules to your bucket either using the Amazon S3 console or AWS command line interface. To test the cores rules on your Amazon S3 bucket, use the curl command. Cores is a feature of HTTP that uses headers to allow browsers to show the content that a web server requested from a different origin. If you make a cross-origin request to an Amazon S3 bucket that isn't defined by a cores rule, then the cores header isn't returned. For example, the following command does not return the access control headers when cores is not active. In this demo, we'll be using Cloud Shell in the console to execute the commands. As we can see in the below response, no cores headers are present. If a web server made a similar request to a website, then the content retrieved from your bucket won't appear in your browser. To allow your content to appear, configure a cores policy on your Amazon S3 bucket. Proper configuration of the cores policy makes sure the appropriate headers are returned. You can configure a cores rule on your bucket using the Amazon S3 console or AWS CLI. Let's validate that certain calls are blocked to this bucket because cores is not active. In this example, we'll perform a pre-flight check by seeing which options are allowed for a given URL using curl. In addition, we'll specify get as the access control request method header. This example will fail because we have not allowed this origin to make calls to the bucket. Here, you can see that Amazon S3 returns a 403 forbidden error, stating that cores is not enabled for this bucket. To configure a cores rule in your bucket using the Amazon S3 console, perform the following steps. Sign in to the AWS Management Console. In this demo, we are already authenticated, so we'll skip that step. Open the Amazon S3 console. Select the bucket, choose the Permissions tab, scroll down, and in the Cross-Origin Resource Sharing pane, choose edit. In the text box, enter the JSON cores rule that you want to activate. In this scenario, we'll be accepting get and head REST API calls from www.example.com. Select save changes to save the course policy that you just entered. In your console, execute the previously run command to verify that it is successful. You can now see access control headers in the response from S3. To configure cores using the AWS CLI, you can use the following AWS S3 API command. If you receive any errors while running this command, make sure you are running the most recent version of the AWS CLI. If the execution of the command is successful, you will not see any output. You can verify the current cores policy also using the AWS CLI. Use the following AWS S3 API command to retrieve the current cores rule for your bucket. If you encounter unexpected behavior when you access buckets with the cores configuration, make sure that your cores rule allows the correct headers, methods, and origins. Using the options flag with curl, as shown earlier, can be useful when trying to determine which methods are allowed once cores is configured. We'll run the same command we ran earlier, but pay special attention to the access control allow methods header. In the output, we can see that the access control allow methods header allows for the get and head methods, which is what we defined earlier in our cores rule for the bucket. When troubleshooting, you can capture the complete request and response using a tool of your choice, including curl. For each request that Amazon S3 receives with an origin specified, you must have a cores rule that matches the data in your request. Here are a few items you should verify in your cores rule if you are troubleshooting unexpected behavior when making a cross-origin call to Amazon S3. Verify the request has the origin header. If the header is missing, then Amazon S3 doesn't treat the request as a cross-origin request and doesn't send core's response headers in the response. Verify the origin header in your request matches at least one of the allowed origin elements in the specified core's rule. The scheme, host, and port values in the origin request must match the allowed origin elements in the cores rule. For example, suppose that you set the cores rule to allow the origin http colon forward slash forward slash www.example.com. When you do this, the https colon forward slash forward slash www.example.com and http colon forward slash forward slash www.example.com colon 80 origins in your request don't match the allowed origin in your configuration.
verify that the method in your request or pre-flight request, the method that's specified in the access control request method, is one of the allowed methods elements in the same core's rule. If a pre-flight request includes an access control request headers header, verify that the core's rule includes the allowed header entries for each value in the access control request headers header. And now you know how to configure cross-origin resource sharing, otherwise known as cores, in Amazon S3, and also confirm cross-origin resource sharing is working using curl. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Thank you.